What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. DN Duel Commentary. This should be somewhat of an interesting game. We have Pistachio Nut, uh, 1542, and Cloud Strife, 189. Oh, 189. What am I saying? 189. 1523. He plays Sir Teller Knight Shadows. And he's actually, I've played against him. Um, I beat him 2 1. The thing about the deck is you get all the potency of the shadows and you know like the ability to use all the fusions and whatnot and uh a lot of times you get the rank four access because you run deneb and you know you run a uh, altier and whatnot so it looks like he had no problem getting rid of dark law with squamata although he's able to hit him with another dark dark law and then obviously trigger the effect of uh the Shadow Mist. So he gets himself a Neos alias. Huh, Dark Laws are finally on um TCG player. And it looks like he's gonna rank four, I guess, for Castell. Just to kind of force out whatever that back row is. If it's um like I guess yeah, he's trying to get rid of it. Um whether it's uh something like Mirror Force, Evac, Bottomless, he just wants to get rid of it. Alright, so he targets Dark Law. Goodbye, Dark Law. Now he moves into battle phase. I wonder if that's... Nope. My guess was Mirror Force. That would have been the best case scenario. Guess it was not. It could be something like um, Lance, but at this point, he would need Dark Law on board for it to really work. And with Construct out, the Lance is irrelevant because her, her effect's going to kick in regardless. So, I mean, it's going to be tough to only to deal with this board with only um a neil's alias and an unknown card we don't know what the other card is so if you know if i was playing heroes man i, I definitely think i'd be experimenting with um with zephyros man i played a guy earlier um he was running zephyros and armageddon knight and he was able to make some really good plays like master key beetle on uh with a vanities that that play was really really strong so he activates a hero lives not having to give up many life points all right so he gets shadow mist and he is going to trigger that effect for mass change now i wonder where does he go from here so he sets and then pass his turn. So, I mean, obviously he can make Dark Law, but he has to do something here. He can't just take the attacks. Okay, so he's Book of Moon on Construct. At least temporarily, he's safe. Now, he can obviously make Dark Law. Now, if he has enemy controller, unfortunately, he'll get gamed right here. But that is what it is. I assume he'll take Bubble Man. And he does. Takes that bubble dude. Okay. So as long as he doesn't have another monster, he can summon Neil's alias and Bubble Man at the same time. If he doesn't draw another monster. If he does, then, well, fuck. You know, shit happens, I guess. Alright. So he drew a Speller Trap, which means he can special them both. Um, the question is, how does he kill this? I mean, Excalibur is a legitimate option. That would have 4,000 attack. It could just ram this over. Unless um, Cloud Strife has something like a Mirror Force. That'd be unfortunate. But yeah, he could easily attack this with um, Excalibur or... I think Construct has 25 defense. So she's not the easiest thing to get over. But Excalibur gets the job done. Uh, personally, I, th I feel like right now Excalibur is such a good card. Uh, not only does it do uh, huge amounts of damage to um to open fields 4k is legit but it's like uh what I, why i like it more than um blade armor ninja is uh against decks like it's really good against infernoids because a lot of their monsters don't do anything like they're big monsters you know piati and atondel like they have to attack over something to get any type of good effects and when he's 4,000, they just can't. So a lot of times you bring him out, you ran over, you run over their shit, and then you have, um, then you have basically like a, a full turn of them not being able to do much. 
And then uh, it's in Out the Towers for heroes and uh, Sir Telemonites. And also uh, when your opponent tribute summons for a Klee monster, like a disc and stealth and stuff. And, you know, you can't really use your 28s or you can't use your rank fours. This dude is the out. So he does summon Excalibur. And I guess he'll go attack and then attack. Oh, damn. He goes Sinister Shadow Games, and that, that really messes things up because she's, um, she's flip face up, so. Yeah, that, that kinda sucks. He had his out right there to attack over her, and kinda went, kinda went to the wayside. Now, I mean, I guess, okay, there it is. Guess he'll just be content snatch stealing her. That's legit. I mean, unless he has, Okay, I was going to say, unless he has a fusion, he needs to gain a thousand life points. He totally forgot about that. There it is. All right, so now he's going into beatdown mode. He has 52 on board and a card in hand, which have no idea what it is. I'm trying to think of what it could possibly be. If it was a mass change, no, nah, he wouldn't have used it. Oh, jeez, what a top deck. So, I assume he'll banish Construct. He can't attack over it, so. He says, I'm not the only stack in the house. Alright, Construct's gone, so it's Snatch Steel. Now, I guess he'll just pass. Maybe he's, maybe he's looking for like a Regeki! He got the Regeki! I mean, are you telling me this dude has just ripped Snatch Steel and Regeki back to back? These are two of the most powerful spells, and actually, check that. I, I would say they're probably one and two for, like, most powerful spells in the game. Now, all he needs to do is get through one face-down card. It's Dragon, and he loses Dark Law. Now, card advantage is, I mean, he's only plus one, but at this point, players can be dead drawing. If Cloud Strife is drawing any shadow spells, they're dead. The question is, can Pistachio get to a monster? He sets one, which leads me to believe that that might be Monk. Cloud Strife is going to Allure. I'm trying to think of what he might have in his hand. I think he could have Hedgehog. Okay, he has Beast, something he couldn't summon, so that makes sense. Summons Altier. Obviously looking to go for the rank four play. Cowboy would be very solid at this point because then you can just cowboy sit on it, cowboy him again. Okay, he has nothing in his graveyard. Monk. It has to be monk. I'm I'm willing to bet that it's monk. Phoenix Chain is played. Which tells me that that is definitely um summoner monk. He sets everything. I'm, I'm guessing at least two of these are bluffs. Um, I'm, I'm smelling some shut off fusions down there that are not very good until he gets a shut off monster. He activates soul charge for one. Okay. Uh, it goes for dragon. Okay. Never mind. He'll vanities it. And it'll get MST'd, so Dragon will hit the field. I wonder if maybe he's just looking for Castell. You can't exit on item. Your cards are even. Okay, he goes for Cowboy. Both players are in the danger zone. That's incredible. It'd be crazy if he topped at, uh, a level 4 and he made Cowboy. He's looking at his graveyard. Miracle Fusion would be ever so sweet right here. But I guess um, Cloud Strife must have some type of defensive card, like uh, an, an evac device, or evac virus, an evac device, where he feels confident. I mean, personally, I, I don't. I'm gonna make a video about this. I, I don't think that people should be taking Cowboy out of their extra decks. The card is way too important. All right, so it was Summoner Monk. He pitches Rhoda. I wonder if he'll go Bubble Man or Shadow Mist. He goes for Goblinburg. Once again, can't he cannot unite his opponent. He goes for Cowboy. He knows what's up. 
And he burns him for game. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> cowboy on cowboy crime. So, Pistachio Nut knows what's up. Um, I faced two players recently. Um, they were both running heroes, and neither one of them ran cowboy. And I beat both of them because of that. And um, just watching Dueling Network, as I, I've done a lot lately, I've seen... Uh, some Infernoid players that don't run Cowboy, even though that they can obviously rank four. Uh, if you look at the fact that they run a rank four Infernoid or a level four Infernoid, uh, a level four Infernoid, um, a lot of them run. Well, they run um, the what's it called guy, um, Raiden, and some of them run Lila. So that's three level fours. Um, I've seen some Necros. A lot of them don't run Cowboy too. Don't know why, but I don't know. I feel like the card is definitely important enough to run that many copies. All right, so he just throws out Deneb and passes turn. Not the strongest opening in the world, especially considering if Pistachio Nut is able to get to Shadow Mist, he technically doesn't have to commit anything else to the board. He, he plays Rhoda. As long as he has any defensive options. Yeah, he doesn't have to commit anything. And then you can't really use your alt here. So he goes Goblinburg. Also keep in mind, he could just go Shadow Mist turn one and attack over the Deneb. And you can't honest it. And then it gets banished. And you totally can't even use your alt here. So that's a problem. Uh, yeah, one of the things about um, Cloud Strife's uh, Sutelar Knight's uh, Shadow deck is the fact that since he runs... Since he runs the deck more or less like a, a, a Shadow deck with uh, like uh, S Knights mixed in, he doesn't get to run the defensive cards that S Knights are known for. You know, the Phoenix Chains and the Alpha Novas, the Alpha Nova, which is the play stopper, and then Phoenix Chain, which you can bounce to your hand over and over again with Trevor. Like, he doesn't get any of that utility. So when he throws a Deneb out there, he ain't got shit to back it up with. I mean,. I guess there's some chance that he might run Honest, but just in general, you know, I, I don't really think that he does, which means right now, oh man, that couldn't have been worse. I was going to say, um, he's potentially at the mercy of Castell and, and Dark Law. Now, I think Blade Arm and Ninja would be really good here. Nope, Abyss Dweller. Okay, fair enough. He goes for Abyss Dweller. He's going to attack for 17. And this way he gets rid of the Deneb. Um, he keeps it away from his opponent, more importantly. And even if he gets fused, he can pretty much negate everything. Regeki is played. He'll probably chain. Now, it's unfortunate that he had the Regeki. He's going to activate Shadow Misses Effect. Gets a Neos Alias. Cloud Strife will be able to activate Altier's Effect. Okay, no, he won't. And he had better hope he has Spell and Trap Removal. He does. He, have, he has MST. And Phoenix Chain is played. So... Now I guess you got to hope you got to shut off Fusion. Nope, he doesn't. He has a Soul Charge for one. Gets himself uh, Deneb. He'll trigger it, getting out here. I think that's the only card he runs outside of Deneb. He just runs probably a six-card Light Engine. He might run one Vega. The question is, what are you going to see into now? I feel like there isn't any good option. Oh, no. Well, no. He can go into Lavalvo Chain. Yeah, see, Lavalvo Chain is pretty much his go-to rank for it. See, I totally forgot about that. It's terrible in regular Satellite Knights, but it's fantastic in Shadows because it, at the minimum, it gets you a draw. Or he could go into Tsukuyumi. I was thinking about that card. It just didn't make any sense to me because it kind of seemed like he had a lot of monsters in hand. Oh, my God. Okay. I was. It gives up um, his alt here. That's interesting. <laughs> also gives up a dragon. Let me just make sure this. Um, 
Oh yeah, it does say send. <clears throat> yeah. Send your entire hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw two cards. Yeah, I think detaching the material is the cost, so. There goes mass change, and he just passes. So I guess that kind of worked out for him. He was able to hit the mass change, which Pistachio didn't really work that hard to get anyway. Now, I'd be... <laughs> It'd be so zaggy if he top decked a, um, a snatch steal and he was able to not only have himself a decent sized beater at 1800, but then he was able to, um, get Tsukiyomi and basically beat the crap out of him, uh, using the effect. But it looks like he played Mash Charge and he's got both cards now. So he's gonna change his face into Dark Law. I don't understand why more people don't run Mash Charge. I mean, it's a plus one. Like, it, I, I would never even, I, I mean, I wouldn't play, I don't know if I'd play two of them, but to me, it just seemed like, you're, when is that card ever gonna be dead? Like, outside, outside of turn one, every turn after turn one, the card's live. And it just seems like an amazing top deck because if nothing else, you go into the fucking water guy and just nuke your opponent's back row. Like, it just seems great to me. All right, so we got Snatch still on Dark Law. That was crazy that he um, <laughs> it's crazy that he set the uh the Snatch still. So now he's playing Altier and Vega. So he does play that one Vega, searches out another Vega. So I guess he plays two. And now at this point, I I personally would go for uh for Trevor. But you know I'm what you know what? I'm not him, so I don't know. Looks like he's not going for Trevor at all. Just seems like it would be an insanely good play. You get to bounce the um You get to bounce the the Dark Law away so you don't have to worry about that card anymore. I guess he's content on just keeping it with um Snatch Deal. Making his opponent answer. So Man, a Regeki would be kind of rough here. He didn't go Trevor. And he left the Dark Law on board. And the thing is, a lot of people side out their... Huh, I was just going to say, side out their MSTs against this deck. Okay, so a Hero Liz is played. I, I was thinking, I was like, why doesn't he just use the um why didn't he just use the MST on the snatch deal now he's rolling dice he's rolling a die for some reason what's he gonna try okay so he uses dark laws effect hits the bubble man so no acid for you oh okay I guess he's gonna go into cast tail show sure enough so he's gonna cast tell him. And snatch still is gonzo. And he might kick himself for not using that um that digusto effect, because he ain't gonna have a chance to use it now. Sucks to be him, right? So all of everything gets banished. All of it. He sets himself a mass change, obviously. And now play goes back to Cloud Strife. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Cloud Strife, we knew that he had an out here, but I don't think that he had any Denebs in there because that one Deneb just got banished. And eh, at that point, it was pretty much like shut off fusion or bus. Even if he had something like a Rota, which I don't even know if he had to, to get like a Vega, he was going to lose, you know, he was going to lose his hand, at least one piece of his hand. So. Unfortunately, conventional wisdom wins out in this match, and just the uh, the basic archetype, not the hybrid, ends up winning. Thank you guys for watching, as always.